Hello everyone. So today I'm going to work on how to create a collectible helmet. So here we have a helmet. If I walk towards that, you can see character has collected and equipped the helmet. Now we have a helmet. And when we collect the helmet, the way we implement this is uh, through gameplay ability system. So we have a collectible gameplay ability to collect and also when we collect, a gameplay effect is applied which increase the health of the character as well and this can be applied not just for the player but also for the enemies as well here you can see one of the enemies have a helmet so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the version page link is in the de this description below and also you can watch all other episodes as well that covers everything in this series i have uh, done related to action rpg with gameplay ability system so i'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below and let's get back to today's tutorial All right, so first of all, I already have this uh, mesh of helmet that came with the sword and shield pack. So I'm gonna use that as the mesh. And then if I go to blueprints and weapons, I have BP weapon base. So I'm going to use this one as the parent class so that I can, I will already have the things that I have implemented with other weapons, even though helmet is technically not a weapon, but it is also a equipment. Maybe I should rename this as BP equipment, but let's just implement this and then later on let's do refactoring accordingly. Right, create child blueprint pp helmet. All right, and then here under this, I'll add this uh, static mesh. And it's not in the correct orientation, so I'll correct it. Okay, now it's facing the correct direction. All right, now uh, let me attach it to the character and see how it looks. Let's try with the base character. So here, let me drag and drop the helmet. and now it should be a child of mesh because we will be attaching this to a mesh a socket in the mesh uh, if i attach this to the head it's not correct see so let's create a new socket under the head and so good I'll use the name socket underscore head and I'll here I'll rotate this to make sure it's facing forward direction and it's a dex is upward so this should be correct now if i go back to the character select the helmet and use 
socket head see now it looks correct but here you see there is a slight overlapping so either you can scale up the helmet a little bit or you can move it up a little bit either way is fine depending on the mesh you are using so i'm gonna move it up a little bit and that's enough okay now we do have now we have the socket that we need to attach now i want to implement a, a way to automate the attachment because i already have here first let me remove this here i already have implemented a way to collect weapons here here what I do is I get the weapon and from the weapon I get the weapon type and based on the weapon type I have defined which socket this weapon needs to be attached to so get weapon type if I go to the helmet and the interfaces I already have this get weapon type function because this is a child of weapon base so here let's implement a new weapon type as helmet for that i have to go to enums folder e weapons here let's add helmet now i should have the extra option here helmet so socket Head. I should have used capital here. To match. Because I have his capital in all other sockets as well. Okay. Now this function is working uh, but I also need an ability to collect the helmet so let's go to abilities here I have under sword collect sword this is the parent ability I was using to collect any weapons so let me create a child blueprint and re re rename it collect helmet let's have a folder here helmet and move it there okay now for now i don't really want to grant any abilities and I don't have an icon but let's just leave the default icon there and collectible actor class so here I'll select BP helmet and activation blocked tags so maybe here let's add a new tag instead of weapons um no, five months fine. Great sort. I'll use helmet and the new tag. Yes. Okay. Mm. What else? And I think that should be fine. Oh gameplay effect so for now i also i don't want to apply a gameplay effect also just this oh wait a second let me see what do i already have here oh i just add the tag and yeah well let's define a tag also uh gameplay effect also so for that i'll duplicate this ge collect sort and rename 
JE collect helmet. Let's move it to the helmet folder. And now instead of this, I'll add helmet. And I have this modifier that add 25 to the overall health so um, i think i'll leave this if the character has the helmet it has a 25 additional health but also if you need some other parameter here other than health like a separate parameter that calls armor or something you can have that too but i only have health and stamina so i leave health okay and then uh collect helmet for the where is collect helmet here ge collect helmet i'll assign the gameplay ability gameplay effect as ge collect helmet all right now for testing um can I simply change this? Let's duplicate this collectible actor and GA collect helmet. Yeah, it, should, it can work. Let's see if it works. Oh, I was in the multiplayer mode, but I don't want to is this in multiplayer let's first test this in a standalone mode oh what happened hold on let me first disable collisions Okay, it got collected, but it did not attach. It didn't get attached to the correct correct socket. All oh, right, I know. That's because here yeah, I'm not returning the weapon type correctly. I should return it as a helmet. Great. See, now my character has a helmet. So, yeah, uh, one more thing, if I want to give NPCs a helmet by default, all I have to do is, here, yeah, under default weapons, I can assign GL collect helmet. If I simulate, you should see the helmet on this uh, character now. See? Okay. So, yeah. I think we can stop this episode here. Now you see the how easy for us to add new weapon types and how to create collectible collectibles and everything. Because we, we have thought about all these things before so it makes it easier for us to add new things into the game so yeah okay so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here so next time let's look into other aspects of like how the helmet appears in the inventory and how to have different types of helmets and all other details so feel free to suggest me things that you would like to do with the helmet and other areas that we need to explore so yeah see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye